taking a stand against racism and equality. A University of Canterbury lecturer has handed back his prize for being the student's top teacher. When there has been recent events which really seem to encourage this sort of divisive behaviour and there's not been a strong stand against it, I thought I can't be seen to benefit from that. I can't be seen to be someone who supports that in any way. So I gave my Electra of the Year award back. Those recent events sparked by photos of these costumes, which are now being called offensive, including a carload of students dressed as the Taliban and a take on the Ebola breakout. Definitely some of the things from bad taste. Organised by the university's engineering society, the costumes were entries in NSOC's controversial Roundy 500. A car rally where car themes are judged on creativity. This year, NSOC encouraging students that the more inappropriate, the better. But Eckhart Veer believes the University Student Association hasn't taken a strong enough stance on the photos, posting his reasons for handing back the award on an online blog, including his own experiences with racism. It's not something that I wanted to do in this sort of manner. It's not that I'm trying to say that university is racist in any way. That's not the truth at all. But there's a small minority who want to encourage this, and that's what I'm standing up against. The blog post has received more than 40,000 views online from around the world. His post on Facebook being shared by more than 200 people. The marketing lecturer now being hailed as a role model by students, staff, the public and the Race Relations Commissioner for speaking out. I think it's really brave and it's really, it's quite, it's quite something to return an award to stand up for something you believe in and I think that's really, it's, yeah he's really fantastic. He's doing the right thing in his eyes and that's what it's about. Mr Veer believes the student association, the ones who gave him the award, have neglected to draw the line on NSOC's behaviour. When the UCSA is not doing what I think is enough to try and encourage that sort of change in their behaviour, then it's not something I want to be involved with. Sarah Platt, the president of the university's student association, released a statement yesterday saying the body was committed to representing all student diversity. The UCSA will now have a new equity and diversity advisory committee, educate clubs to towards inclusiveness, hold an international student forum and continue its role in Diversity Week for 2015. Platt says they're working towards an inclusive and tolerant campus and it's an ongoing process that the UCSA is committed to. I don't feel that minorities and women should be tolerated. What are we doing to upset you that much? You should include us, you know, we don't want to be tolerated. It seems like you're even more divisive with that sort of word. The UCSA now vowing to ensure students and staff are working in an environment of belonging on campus. Emma Cropper, CTV News.